Okay, so a quick disclaimer for this video. Uh, this isn't my usual type of video. Um, the original recording was um, over two hours, so I've really tried my hardest to compress this down um, to about just under 30 minutes, but I've left it at 30 minutes rather than just and 10 because I wanted to leave as much of the process in there as possible. Um, this would probably be better as either a, a proper full live stream or an entire two hour walkthrough um, because getting it into 10 minutes kind of just means you're missing loads of it. You might as well kind of just hear the before and after really and then kind of talking about it. So um, let me know if you like this kind of video um, it, or if you'd rather a live stream um, in that case. Um, just let me know either in the comment section or on my social medias. Um, but apart from that, do enjoy. Hello and welcome, my name is Toby Jones and thank you for tuning in into another lesson. Um, now as you can tell, um, you can't see me and there's no drum kit. And the reason for that is, is due to these difficult times, uh, making those videos is going to be a lot harder. So I thought, why not sit with my computer and my keyboard um, and let's kind of break down um, what, I, what I go through to um, get these drum loops that I create. Because a lot of people come to me uh, and go, yo, um, how are you getting your drum loops and um, where, do, where do you get them from where do you get you know how much they're costing you know but what a lot of people don't know is that i'm also a keys player and i actually make all these drum loops uh, at home but they're so much simpler than they come across there's no i'm not really mixing there's obviously no mastering or anything like that it's literally me which is on logic using all the factory sounds all the factory um effects and plugins and everything and i'm literally just making some backing music there's nothing special about it so, uh, I've got the drums ready, I've just scrapped some drums in, um, I've dampened it completely just so you can hear what the actual drums are, I didn't want to like try and, try and mix some drums, I just wanted to dampen it all um, and kind of separate the sounds out um, as much as possible so you actually hear what the drums are. Um, I'm going to put my headphones on. All right. Okay, I didn't realise that was peaking so much. <laughs> I don't know why I turned that up really loudly. Now, this is this is what I do. I write out the drums on MIDI, um, and then I just start, I open up my keyboard. Yeah, I guess I'll turn that off. And we're gonna try and make a loop. Okay, so I've got my drums. I'm now gonna, um, just start with a piano and get chords or whatever that I like um, and then I'll investigate into sounds on the synth engine etc and then go into the MIDI that's kind of how I work but I always start with the drums I write to the drums not write a track and then write drums over the tracks because that's not the point of what I do you know I teach drums so the backing tracks are just to support the drums basically so I do it backwards in a way I guess um, so if I leave the drums and then make it really quiet What I had in mind was either like synth pads, like lots of attack kind of thing, or like really like um, staccato, like syncopated, really short decay, kind of like stabby kind of stuff to match match to the bass drum. I'm gonna really try a bit of both, but we'll see. So I'm just gonna leave it running, and I'm just gonna um, let you know what my kind of jamming process is.
So yeah, I found two chords that I like. Um, so you kind of get like a drum solo kind of, you know, it's just pads and you just get drums over the top, which works. Um, but it's kind of like, I could just get that two chords from anywhere. You know what I mean? So I kind of, like you said, um, like, well, like I said, rather, um, like I said, writing to the drums, not just writing music. With these plugins, they're not awful. That's the thing. These um, faction ones, they're not awful. A lot of people are like, oh no, I'm not using those, but they're not actually that bad. Um, so I kind of just go for one, which is the top one. So all that is, is me um, using my right and left hand as I would for the drums. So that's how the kind of syncopation kind of works really. It's as simple as that really. You can tell I'm a drummer, not a pianist. So that's the pattern. So now I've got to kind of put a melody or riff to that. More of a riff really. Um, that's an amazing sound though. Okay, so I'm doing that too early. Um, let's get rid of this now. We'll change that later. Um, I always quantize, um, and that's just simply because because I'm doing instructional instructional like um, videos. Uh, so obviously, some of it's not. It's all it's all triplets, isn't it? Yeah. I can't play time. Uh, dun 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 dun. dun. Um, so now I'm up to like a saw bass, maybe a uh, big saw bass.
Okay, so I've got my main kind of riff bass line. Um, next is like a um, either a pad, um, like lead synth, um, or like a rhythmic kind of plucked kind of sound. I really do like putting pluck stuff in. Um, this is literally not much mixing that goes into this. I'm going to go turn that like wet of that re uh, reverb down, um, and then a bit more EQ. But there's not much that goes into this, um, and it just proves how like you could do this at home, make your own. Just doing exactly the same, not doing any variation. I think that works. Very sloppy, I apologise. <laughs> And then this bit will be complete silence. Um... There's a there's a better one. Why don't you yes, one I think it's Yeah, it's really quite clean so
basic what I could do. If I drag all these one by over. Um, just leave that over. want that kind of um the baseline not the baseline but the, like the syncopation to be really sharp um and i think when you listen to this kind of music this sounds like a proper metal kind of stuff
do much more than this this is kind of as much as i'll go um i'll probably uh what i usually do will bounce it to my phone listen to how it sounds on my phone um and there'll probably be no obviously there's no low end or anything at all uh and then i'll do more adjusting um and i'll do a final mix of like eq trying to save some processing so it's not so like large of a file um and then just bounce it down and that is literally all i'll be doing um now it's taking a lot longer than i've expected but um i hope you get an idea of how I go about making these loops that you know all a lot of you've been asking um because after you've been asking so I'm assuming you're liking them <laughs> uh but I really enjoy making them um and I obviously don't want to stop making music even if I do teaching I don't want to stop making I really enjoy doing it um but yeah this is this is all I this is all it is it's not like hours and hours and hours of mixing and it's just built in sounds putting it all together making something that works with the drumming and that's all that goes into it Okay, so that's everything for today. Um, again, I want to make this into live streams. So if you've got any tips on um, about like webcams um, and how we just get sorted without like microphone, like USB mics and that, that would be really handy. Um, you can contact me on uh, my Facebook or Instagram. Um, and if you can't find those, then do head over to tobyjonesdrums.co.uk and then you can contact me on anything through there. Okay, that's everything for today and I'll see you in the next one.